Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Today we're talking about the neonatal intestinal obstruction uh, topic of the pediatric surgery. Uh, we have two types of the obstruction in the intestinal, uh, mechanical and functional. The mechanical one means that there is organic lesion which could be a trensing uh, in the wall, atresia, failure of continuity, stenosis, whip or narrowing, intra luminal inside the lumen as the meconium ileus, extra luminal outside the tube as in the mal rotation, annular uh, pancreas, diaphragmatic hernia, Volvulus and duplication. Uh, last one, neurological, as in the half spring disease, absence of the parasympathetic ganglion cell. We will talk about each one next. The second type, the functional one, like sepsis and septicemia, necrotizing enterocolitis, prematurity, and drugs used during the labor, such as overdose of the anesthesia. First one, meconium ileus. Uh, this is abnormal meconium, which is uh, inspissated. Muco means a viscid uh, and uh, peaked in the distal ileum. 10 to 15 percent of the cystic fibrosis have meconium ileus due to deficit pancreatic and inter, uh, intestinal secretion as well as abnormal concentration of the meconium within the duodenum and the proximal duodenum during the later month of the life. The mixture become uh, progressively inspissated and inher uh, inherent to the distal 15 to 30 centimeter of the ileum with a small colon uh, due to unused atrophy, microcolon. Polyhydraminous occur in the 10 to 20 percent of the time the newborn is often small of gestational age, but prematurity is unusual. Meconium ileus is, uh, is uh, the classified into uncomplicated and complicated cases. The uncomplicated one in this condition uh, the abnormal thickened meconium cause simple intestinal obstruction of the terminal ileum. The distal 15 to 30 centimeter of the terminal ileum is filled with the inspissated less water content meconium. Uh, pellets which are adherent to the bowel wall. The neonates may appear normal for the first 12 to 18 hours of life as proximal bowel fill with swallowed air, the abnormal distension, vomiting, initially clear, later pilus, and filler to the pus meconium are noted. On abdominal examination, a duffy abdomen, abdominal mass may be present. So, an uncomplicated, like this, uh, abnormal thickened meconium can simply in, uh, intestinal obstruction at, at the ileum, or terminal ileum. The investigation we need plan abdominal x ray, uh, no air f uh, fluid level or uh, a fewer. Uh, it is uh, the only intestinal obstruction without air fluid level. But there is ground glass appearance or soap bubble in the right lower quadrant. Less rectal gas than neonatal Hirschsprung uh, disease or meconium plug syndrome. Okay, if we can, uh, th th there is no uh, 
air fluid levels or there is a ground glass appearance and the gas in the uh, rectum is less less than uh, Hirschsprung disease or meconium plug syndrome uh, a diagnostic enema by using gastrographene uh, which contains wetting agents and it draws image volume of the fluid into the lumen to wash out the obstructed meconium so it's diagnostic and therapeutic a sweet test as any patient with cystic fibrosis we should rule out the cystic fibrosis uh, the treatment conservative put nasogastric tube to compress uh, the stomach and bowel uh, IVF, IV fluid to replace pre-existing fluid deficit and ongoing losses antibiotic incubator with oxygen and therapeutic enema operated one or more anthrostomies can enable the surgeon to, to relieve s simple meconium ileus if the general condition of the patient is unwell then ileostomy is done complicated uh, meconium aspiration this condition is associated with valvulus bowel perforation intestinal atresia and giant cystic meconium peritonitis the clinical features uh, the same of uncon complicated but abdominal distension occur, occur shortly after birth there is usually scrotal or vaginal swelling due to fluid accumulation in the patent process vaginalis or uh, the related ends and the fallopian tube uh, as the condition occurs during the intrauterine life during the development of the inguinal canal and both male and female gonads so meconium may pass to these organs causing it to swell the uh, diagnosis and triuterine life diagnosis by fetal ultrasound a plain abdominal x-ray air fluid levels and distended loops of a small bowel and uh, intraperitoneal calcification uh, due to the intrauterine perforation the treatment IV fluid nasogastric tube incubator with oxygen antibodies uh, sorry uh, antibiotics if the condition of the patient is stable there is res uh, resection and the primary end-to-end -end anastomosis if sepsis is present do a diverting ileostomy and after improvement close the closure is perforated.